In this video, we'll teach you about the important concept of the learning or experience curve. And even if you don't know what that is, you could probably guess. And our file will be tank.flxfx. So the idea behind the learning or experience curve is the more you manufacture of something, the cheaper it becomes to manufacture because you learn how to do it better. And this was originated, I believe, at Boeing Aircraft near in the state of Washington where they found out, let's say, the hundredth plane you make of a particular model would not take as long and co or cost as much as the 50th plane. And the military in particular builds this into their analysis. If the government buys 100 tanks, they know the 100th tank will cost the manufacturing company less to make than the first tank. Drug company like Eli Lilly knows after they've made a million days of therapy of a drug, the next million days of therapy will cost less money because they'll have less stuff they have to throw out because a batch goes bad or something like that. And certainly with semiconductor chips, there's a huge learning curve. Texas Instruments learned about this with calculators, that the cost of producing a calculator would drop rather quickly. So how does, as you make more, so how does this fit with the power curve? So we got Y, we have Y will be the cost of producing, let's say, tanks tank number n and then x would simply equal n okay and so the cost of producing the nth tank will be a times how many tanks you've made already and to a negative power or to the b power and B is less than zero. And we'll see that basically as you make more tanks, the cost of each tank will drop because if we have a minus power there, as X gets bigger, the cost will drop. And the nice thing about the learning curve, and this also applies to the demand curve being the power curve, okay, if you double the number of tanks made so far, or whatever chips, The cost of making a tank always drops the same percentage. You can prove this algebraically. And so talk about the percentage of lear learning curves. Usually there are 70% to 90% learning curves. And so what that would mean, like a 70% learning curve, sorry. Seventy percent learning curve or experience curve means cost drops thirty percent whenever you double cumulative production. And that's it makes sense why the curve gets flat that explains why the curve gets flatter. Because like if, if you go from 100 tanks to 200 tanks, you drop the cost 30%, but then you've got to go from 200 to 400 tanks to drop the cost 30% again. And eventually it flattens out because you do most of your learning early on. So I made up some data here saying the cost of the first tank is 20 million, the second tank 17 million, the cost of the 80th tank would be 8 million, etc. So can we estimate the learning curve here? Well, X will be the tank number, and Y is the cost of making that particular tank. So we would simply go insert, scatter, okay, and it looks like it's getting flatter. We'll do right click, add trend line, and so we'll do power curve because it's getting flatter, and display the equation on the chart. Pretty small. I need my reading glasses, so I'll make that bigger. Okay, so pretty much cost of tank N would equal 20, and I made it up to sort of fit this, times N to the minus 0.2. superscript minus 0.2. Now let's see how well that fits the data 
And then you can project, for instance, if we've made 100 tanks, what would the cost of the next 100 tanks be? Okay, and we could also show whenever you double the production, that basically we'll see what percentage the cost drops by. So the predicted cost would equal 20 times the number of tanks made carrot to the minus 0.2. Okay. And you can see this is really a pretty good fit. I've made it that way, but Excel figured it out. Let's do currency. Okay, you can see it fits just about perfectly there. Okay, so let's figure out the learning percentage. Like if I would go from one to two, to four to eight, to 16 tanks, what's the cost? So the tank number, and then the cost would be what? It would be 20 times the tank number, carrot to the minus 0.2. And every time I double the number of tanks made, it's an 87% learning curve. See, those are all the same. 87% learning curve, double production, costs drop 13%. Now, we could estimate the cost of the next 100 tanks if you wanted to. All I'd have to do, if you know integral calculus, there's an easier way, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I can just drag this down through 200. and just copy the cost formula down. And so the cost would be, add these numbers up, $737 million. Okay. So tanks 101 through 200, would cost 737 million. Now what do the first 100 tanks cost? That would be the sum of the first 100. That's going to be a lot more money. That's Sorry, I've got the, uh, we should go G7. Oh, sorry, that's going to be wrong because I don't have all the numbers from 1 through 100 there. I'd have to put them in there. So don't worry about that. I forgot that I don't have all the numbers from 1 through 100. We could certainly put those in there if we wanted to, but let's not worry about that. But the cost of tanks 101 through 100 will be $737 million. Okay. Now, if I did the cost of 1 through 100, well, that's easy enough to do. Let's just put in 737.08. And the easiest way around this, let's just put in 1 through 100. Without disturbing what we have up there. Okay, so now if I would add up tanks 1 through 100, we would simply add up these numbers, the predicted costs, 984 million. Now, if I want to use the Format Painter, I can copy that format, double-click uh, Format Painter, and then just click here, and it puts the dollars there. So you can see we'd be spending about 25 30% less on the next 100 tanks if we've already made 100 tanks, and certainly the Pentagon knows this and builds this into the contracts with the defense contractors because we spend a lot of money on our military as you well know 
Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.